no reason. We're going to pull that tooth whether you like it or not. <laughs> or a feather called reasoning bait. You are the most unreasonable bird I've ever seen. <laughs> Open your mouth. <laughs> Hold his nose like you would have blown. Yeah, that's it. Uh, it hurts me worse than it does you. Uh, Let's see that tooth. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Let me at him. Uh, wait, wait, hold on there, sir. If you bite ah! my fingers, I'll put you out of the gun butt. Wait a minute. Ah! Uh, hold him, boys. Hold him. Hold him tight now. Hold him. Hold him. That's it. Hold him. Give it ah! All right. Just a minute. Are you ready? Okay. Let her go. It's over 2,000 miles, Della. Mariana, Arizona. That must be as far west as Indiana. It's a little further than that. Do you know what this is? No, ma'am. It's a deed. This piece of paper means that I now own a home of my own. My very own. There ain't many brothers that make a sister a present like that. No, there's not. Well, guess that's about everything. Well, we'll go inside and finish packing the bags. Yes, sir. Hello, sis. Hello, Eddie. Do you mind? No. Give me apartment 311, please. Listen, Grant. Right. Grant, I can't go through with this. Oh, yes, you will. I tell you, I can't. But you will. I'm coming up. If you're smart, you won't live till I get there. I tell you, I... What's the matter? What are you so upset about? Nerves. Thing today with a lot of money on her nose. It's enough to make me nervous, don't you think? I wish you'd go with me, Eddie. I'm afraid to leave you here the way you're going. Well, stop squawking. I'm getting you out of it, ain't I? Yes, and I appreciate you making it possible, but... Well, you got a funny way of showing it, yelling at me the way you're doing. But the crowd you're running around They're with. my crowd, ain't they? Now listen, sis. I'm doing all right, and you're doing all right. I'm getting the jack. That's the important thing. But how are you getting it? By being smart. It's the only way to get money in this town. But how? By laying my good dough on the line and collecting from the bookies. You can't win always. Well, then I'll get it some other way. And that'll be up to me, too. Now lay off, will you, sis? All right. I'm through trying to advise you. And that'll be swell. Now I'll call a cab. I've ordered one. It'll be here in just a few minutes. Oh, hello, Mr. Grant. How do you do, Miss Shea? Hello, Eddie. Hello. I took the liberty of hoping you might accept a little going away present. Oh, thank you. Now, if you don't mind, I'll finish packing. Not at all. Listen, Grant. So you thought you were going to ride out on me, huh? Well, it goes through as we planned. Did you put the money in the trunk? No. Where is it? I've got it right here. Give it to me. Thank you. 
Nothing like a long trip to cool off hot money. And nothing like going through with the job once you get started. I'm afraid, Grant. I got a hunch we're wrong. I haven't. It goes just as it lays. And when your sister comes back into this room, tip her off if you think it's wise. Right now, only you and I know the dough is in this trunk. When she comes in, crack to it. And it'll be just too bad for the both of you. Bonnie, taxi's here. I'm ready. Close the truck and I'll be right out. There it is, boys. I'm going to miss you, Eddie. Well, I'll see you in about three months. I hope so. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Grant. Goodbye, Miss Shea. Pleasant trip. Thank you. Take care of yourself. You didn't have the nerve to tell her, did you? No. I... No, you want to play the racket, get yours... Nobody's and... getting away with this racket today. We have so far. But suppose they catch us. They won't catch us, not with the dough in that trunk. I know a couple of guys who got life for doing this. Uh, they might even burn us. Ah, oh, you're just yellow. Maybe I should save you from burning by uh, knocking you off myself. No, no, don't. Why, you lily-livered rat. Hello, Joe. How are you, Dan? Any mail? Sure. Thanks, Joe. Reasoning. Come here. <laughs> Boys are doing all right. Yeah, read that. You hurt worse than your toothache. Sunset rain sold? Yeah, and to a stranger. Are you on the level? There it is, black and white. Direct from the bank, too. New owner arrives on the 15th. Well, that's today. We all thought that you and Dan here was fixing to buy it. Yeah, we was, Freddie. Dan and me figured on having enough in the next year to make a down payment. Ah, oh, well, there's other ranches. Yeah, there are other ranches, but there ain't no other Sunset Range. Gee, <laughs> you're right, Dan. We wasn't only figuring on buying a ranch. We was figuring on buying a home. Doggone. Us boys always figured we was working for you and Dan. Yeah. Now we'll all be working for a stranger. Well, there ain't nothing we can do about it except to meet this stranger. And reason, that's your job. And you can figure out your own particular welcome. Say, you know, that guy would be surprised if he got a good bust in the jaw. Well, that'd lose us all our jobs. I don't care. It'd satisfy my feelings. Tight rain, son. Tight uh, rain. Now, you better take the flipper and run down to the station and meet him. And we'll go on out and kind of straighten things up a bit. Say, he must be a funny Omri. Buy a ranch sight and on scene. You know, I got a hunch I ain't gonna like that guy, and I'll tell you the reason why. I just traded a toothache for a good headache, and he's the cause of it.
where the Sunset Range is. Mm, seems to me I've heard of it. Well, is it very far? Well, the tame. Well, that's definite. At least, will you take me there? Mm, generous, too. Yeah, climb in. Well, uh, would it be putting you out very much if you help me with my bag? No, wouldn't. Is it always windy like this out here? We won't mention that. Anyway, I can thank you for the lift. I'm lucky. Hey, so am I. The geezer I was supposed to meet here didn't arrive. You mean you're from the Sunset Range? That's right. And you came to meet a geezer? Right again. That must be me. Oh, no, ma'am. The gazebo I come to meet is the new owner of the ranch. That's still me. You? The new owner? That's right. I'm the geezer and the gazebo you came to meet. you do? Oh, sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. Do you work at the Sunset Range? Yes, sir. What do you do? Punch cows. Oh, really? How long have you been punching cows? Ever since I've been able to punch. What do the cows ever do to you to make you mad at them? Mad at them? Uh-huh. So you wanted to punch them? Lady. Ooh. Mountain cattle. Oh. Are they any different from ordinary cows? Well, yes. You see, we breed them out here to graze on the side of a mountain. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. They're a special kind. Legs shorter on one side and on the other. Honest? Mm-hmm. Now, those cattle would starve to death on level ground. I'll tell you the reason why. Why? Well, you take on an elevation. Shorter legs help to propel them. Longer legs help them to cling on. You know, nature's provision. Why, do you know that if those cattle grazed on flat ground, they'd fall over and die? Dan, that's Miss Shea, new owner. Dan, here's our superintendent. How do you do? How do you do? We really wasn't expecting a lady, or we'd have had to place a little trimmer for you. Oh, it's all wonderful to me. I do hope my being a girl isn't going to make any difference. Any difference you make, miss, will be a change for the better. Thank you. Lee Fong here will uh, show you to your room. Yeah. Oh, uh, Lee Fong's a Chinaman. Yeah. I expect you will want to freshen yourself up a little before supper. Oh, uh, boys. I'd like to have you meet the new owner of the Sunset Range. How do you do? Supper and catfish, boys. There's a heifer. <laughs> you don't like women, do you? I didn't say so. Maybe I'm a mind reader. <laughs> Women are always something they shouldn't be. Well, how can you tell until you know them? Maybe I don't want to know them. Oh, so you don't like them. 
No, I don't. And I'll tell you the reason why. We're going to pull that tooth whether you like it or not. <laughs> For a feather called Reasoning Bates, you are the most unreasonable bird I've ever seen. Mm. Open your mouth. Mm. Hold his nose like you would a bro. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. The first to be worse than it does you. Yeah. Let's see that tooth. Oh. <laughs> Let me at him. Wait, wait, wait. hold that there, sir. If you bite my fingers, I'll put you out of the gun butt. Wait a minute. Wait. Uh, uh, hold him, boys. Hold him. Yeah, yeah. Hold him tight now. Hold him. Hold him. That's it. Hold him. Give it uh, All right. Just a minute. Uh, Are you ready? Okay. Let her go. <laughs> 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 hey, what you need on there now is a little antispecty. What are you driving at? Maybe he means a little snort. It must be a long trip. The sea is a long ticket. It's over 2,000 miles, Della. Mariana, Arizona. That must be as far west as Indiana. It's a little further than that. Do you know what this is? No, ma'am. It's a deed. This piece of paper means that I now own a home of my own. My very own.